Okay, so this is tonight's remote, and tomorrow during brunch, uh, Sunday at 11 a.m., uh, we have a public uh, get-together for brunch. It's live. I hope everyone can join us. So this is tonight's remote, and it regard it's in regards to the focus that's been made a lot on the fact that Trump was in debt and he took money from foreign banks. Uh, he took money from questionable sources. When you go into this energy, when you meditate on Putin and other foreign leaders, there is an understanding that people in positions of power can be bribed. And that is one of the deeper things that's being looked at with the Pandora papers, these foreign bank accounts. In plainer words, it's not just Donald Trump that's been compromised. It's not just Donald Trump that's taken money from foreign governments. And it's not just Russia that's been bribing people or putting people in positions of power, funding their campaigns so that they can be assisted later on down the road. The problem with dark money goes back to some of the remote views that we've done in the past over the last few years and the Mueller report and how when they followed the money, it took us all the way to D.C., all the way to the Capitol steps. So when we look at it from that perspective and when we look at it from the perspective of the fact that many countries are bribing government officials in order to lobby their personal needs in D.C. We're not just talking about Trump. We're talking about possibly people being bribed on both sides of the aisle. And that becomes an ethics issue. It also becomes a security issue for the United States. So we may find people being compromised. Uh, for example, Mike Flynn taking money from Erdogan's government. Erdogan, of course, being uh, Putin supported. Uh, he was uh, backed by Putin. And that kind of support, of course, had some consequences, pulling, a, a pulling support away from the Kurds, etc. But we also see deals being made with India, deals being made with Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, uh, Israel, um, Russia, foreign governments, which we may not have historically had the best relationship with. It's quite possible now, based on this remote, that we are going to start seeing that this kind of open bribery and hidden bank accounts, paying officials in cryptocurrency so that the money can't be traced, becomes a big issue as this investigation goes on. People who may have taken money from foreign governments, first on the list, I think people should start looking at Josh Hawley out of Missouri. I'm getting something about him. He's something of an intellectual, actually. I believe he went to Yale, so it's kind of surprising that he was uh, so supportive of the coup, the January 6th coup. But now it's unraveling with Giuliani uh, that he was one of the people that was involved in the coup. Um, and again, it goes back to Putin. But I think a better way of looking at this is that it's multiple governments bribing people in positions of power, paying them overseas, hiding the money, people getting rich, being offered this type of wealth so that they can lobby for the interest of foreign governments. And how does this impact America's foreign policy? And are those policies that are being enacted good for the American people and good for the security of the United States. So it goes back to Michael Flynn when he went before the judge and the judge said, you've sold your country out. We have to ask ourselves, 
the people who go to DC, the people who we elect, who are supposed to be representing their constituents, representing this country, who has taken money, not just from lobbyists, but from overseas, from foreign governments, and who is their allegiance with. And I think that more of this kind of bribery and these kinds of schemes will be coming out in the very near future. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. If you're trying to get in for a reading with me, you can go to tarotwithwhimsy.com. Be sure and like, subscribe. Uh, it really helps out this channel. And I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye and stay safe.